All right, this is Jeff at Quadricopter, and we are test flying our Cinestar 6, um, the heavy lifter, which is using the Microcopter BL 3.0 boards and also the Flight Control, the 2.5 version. We have Tiger Motors, the 4012-9s, and we're using the 16-inch um, bow tie props. Um, so a little bit about our setup here. I'm actually going to be pumping you telemetry. Receiver strength 95%. So you're going to be hearing that, which I normally hear during my flight. We're going to be go receiver strength, speed control temperature, um, input voltage, and current. And also, I'm going to demonstrate the Vario tones as far as your altitude hold. Um, some people have some questions about that. So um, once again, we have to uh, first calibrate the gyros. So throttle stick up and to the left, um, beeps three times, start the motors down to the center. Starting, starting. And now we're going to start our telemetry. Receiver strength 100%. So that's going to loop. Receiver strength 100%. That loops every 10 seconds. So I'm just going to go into. Temperature 2, temperature 41 degree. I'm going to go into my. Current 3.4 yeah. ampere. So that is our current drop. Current so. 3.3 ampere. Up. So right now we have two five pound dumbbells for payload. Um, we're kind of targeting this for the Moby M5 and like a GH4 or a, like a Canon 5D Mark III, which comes in just under eight pounds. So the 10 pounds, it's, this is kind of like the upper edge that we'll be testing. So for current draw. Current 55.2 ampere. So we're right at about 55 degrees in a hover as current we fly around. Current 57.9 ampere. Just really mild um, sideways flight. It should still stay under 60 amps. Current 58.4 ampere. So yeah, still good current draw. Um, let's look at our temperatures for our speed controller. Input voltage 22.6 volts. Receiver strength 100%. Kind of got to go around the horn here. Temperature temperature 72 degrees. So right now our hottest speed Tempest controller two, temperature 75 degrees. is 75 degrees, which is well within limits. Also, if I start to see I'm getting a little bit hot, I'll just go into some sideways flight. What that's going to do is get some air traveling over those. Temperature 2, temperature 79 degree. That's going to get some air moving through the boards. It's going to cool it down. So let's see what we can get it down to by just flying it around here. Temperature 2, temperature 76 degree. Let's see, that dropped a little bit. Sensor 2, temperature 67 degrees. Okay, so that dropped at about, well, 10, 12 degrees just by giving it some, uh, just mild flight just to get some air going across those BL boards. Also, if you're using a hood in the summertime, um, take the Sensor hood off for this application because they'll get super hot. Degree. Um, and now let's try the altitude hold. So I'm going to come back in front of us. I'm going to turn altitude hold on. Altitude on. And then I have the variable, the vario on this switch. 73 degree. So now when it's sitting in a hover, there's going to be no tone. It's just going to be quiet. As I start climbing, start bringing the throttle stick up, you're going to start to hear it beep. As I increase throttle, temperature 75 degree. As I increase the throttle, you get a, a faster beep. Once again, if I go back to the hover, it all goes silent. So right now I know I am in the hover. You can also tell over here, I have this little equal sign and my altitude, which is staying right at 26, 25 meters, 26 meters. Now, if I do the reverse, if I come down, I'm bringing my throttle stick down. Now I hear that solid tone. So now I know I'm descending and the, the pitch actually gets lower as I increase it. Once again, going back to mid stick, back into a hover. There is no tone. I know I am, once again, level. It says here I'm at 10 meters. And once again, you get that equal sign. So I'll turn the barrel off, go back into manual flight. Altitude off. 
And now let's see what our numbers are doing. Temperature 80 degree. So now we're going, well, we're hitting about 80 degrees, which is still, still pretty good. Um, if I was hitting towards 90, I'd be getting pretty cautious. Current 55.4 ampere. Still our amp draw is under 60 amps. Input voltage 21.7 volt. We're getting close to our 21 volt cutoff mark. That's Input where it actually... Input voltage 21.6 volt. 21 volts is where I have it start to tell me it's time to come in. That's 3.5 volts per cell. But anyway, we're just going to come in and land and check some temperatures of the motor. Once again, to turn the motors off, throttle sticks down and to the outside. So I have, this is just a little heat sensor. This is in Fahrenheit, but I'm just gonna basically point this looking for the hottest point of the motor. That one's coming in about 130. That one's coming in about 140, 151. I can still keep my fingers on it. This one's coming in about 148, 145, 148, 151, and that's about 127. So yeah, so the hottest temperature was about 151 Fahrenheit. Um, definitely well within the limits. Um, if that starts, Getting up towards 180, 200, I'd be, uh, yeah, definitely getting kind of scared. But for this, I'm not too concerned about it. So right now, if you can see, I went through 4,000 milliamps and it was about a four and a half minute flight. So with that 10 amp battery, if I was to go for pretty much the full 10 amps, I'd be right up around probably 10, 11 minutes. Um, with our GH4 and Movi M5, which is about seven and a half pounds, um, I'm actually able to get about I think it was about a 12, 13 minute flight. So yeah, because we're definitely shaving another two and a half pounds. Um, so anyway, um, this is Jeff the Quadrocopter and we'll be talking soon.